Let's listen to a wonderful testimony by Mr. and Mrs. Fabian Ali from South Africa on how their baby boy was miraculously healed by Jesus Christ through the new anointing water. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Emmanuel. Our names are Mr. and Mrs. Fabian Ali. We reside in South Africa. The baby that you see with us here is our son. This baby, at the seventh month of pregnancy, experienced distress in his mother's womb. And as a result of that distress, the doctor had to order an emergency operation in order to remove him from the womb because the doctor felt that the baby had a better chance of survival outside than inside the womb. After the baby was removed, a lot of complications set in. It was discovered that the baby had contacted infections while in the womb after the mother's water had broken. And one of the infections was pneumonia and then another infection which attacks the upper respiratory tract. They call it adenovirus. The second one is a bacteria which uh, causes meningitis in premature babies. So the situation was very critical because every day his health was just going down the drain. So the doctor gave up after three weeks. And the doctor was now preparing us for the worst. He called us and he told us he doesn't expect the baby to live more than two days. So on hearing that, I am a Nigerian and I live in South Africa. So I decided to call my sister who lives in Lagos here. And I begged her to please go to the Synagogue Church of All Nations and get me the anointing water and DHL it immediately. So the anointing water arrived within 48 hours by DHL. I received it about 10 o'clock in the morning. After I received the anointing water, I went straight to the hospital and I told the nurse there that you might not understand what I'm about to do now, but just give me a chance. And the nurse, she allowed me and then I ministered the anointing water to the baby. They do tests every day to find out how much the, the, the bacteria had advanced in his system. Under normal circumstances, that bacteria is supposed to be less than one in a human being, but from the test, it was standing at 244. After I ministered the anointing water, they told me that another test was going to be carried out by 1 o'clock that same day. I ministered the anointing water at about 10 o'clock. I now hanged around the hospital to find out what the result of the test was going to be. By the time we are hanging around, my wife's phone rang and the nurse in the hospital phoned to tell us that she had good news for us. So we asked her what was the good news. She says we should come into the hospital. So when we came into the hospital, she explained to us that from the test that was carried out, that particular um, virus that attacks the upper respiratory tract, that they cannot find it in the baby any longer. This is the medical report which the doctor wrote for us before we came here concerning what happened to the baby. And then secondly, the pneumonia has disappeared from the baby. This is a picture of the baby when the situation was very, very critical. Be before I ministered the anointing water. When I came to the hospital, because it is a very pitiful sight to see the baby the way he's been connected to all those tubes. Because the baby could not breathe up on his own, they had connected a tube through his throat into his lung in order for the machine to pump oxygen into his lung and out of his lung. So, being that the situation had improved, I now asked the doctor, what are we going to do now? Are you still going to leave him with this tube which you put through his throat into the lung? The doctor told me that he is not in any hurry at all 
to remove that particular pipe because he still wants to monitor him. I said, how long? He said he will monitor him for about two to three weeks. Then I accepted it like that. The next morning when I came back to the hospital with my wife, I found out that the tube was out from the baby and the drip was no longer on the baby. That was after applying the anointing water. Then I asked them what happened. Has the doctor changed his mind? Has he decided to remove the tube and the, and the drip? They said no, that at midnight they found a pipe lying beside the baby. Praise the Lord. That was after I applied the anointing water. So I have come here to testify to the healing power of God in the anointing water. So, my baby, even before I came here, I took the baby back to the doctor. My baby is more than 100% healthy. You children of God, I would like you to join me in giving glory to God Almighty in Jesus' name. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Now, in your testimony, there is a very interesting part. You said, after the doctors have tried all they could in the medical book and they could not get the problem solved, what did they tell you about the baby? The doctor had given up hope. And the doctor had told me that he has phoned his superiors in Cape Town and they told him what to do. He had uh, administered the necessary antibiotics. The baby was not responding to the antibiotics. And now, the level of carbon dioxide in his system was building up more than the oxygen. Based on that, he told me that the baby would not make it more than the next 48 hours. Thanks so the, be to God. So the doctor said, after they had tried and they could not cure your baby, they said the baby had only 48 hours to live. That's right. And it was within these 48 hours you sent to your sister to DHL the anointing water to you. I made sure that it was DHL so that I would get it in time. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Now tell us today as you are testifying what is the condition of your baby after administering the anointing water to him. As you can see for yourself, there is nothing wrong with my baby any longer. The doctor even confirmed in the medical report that the baby is healthy and is healthy to even travel by air. To God be the glory. That's a wonderful testimony. And uh, can we hear from the wife? Emmanuel. My name is Mrs. Ali. I come from South Africa. I just came here to testify the goodness of God in our lives. This boy who's here, wisdom, through the anointing water, he's alive today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yes. 